there is widespread financial illiteracy, and I'm not talking about uh, you know, very advanced formulas in finance, even simple issues like uh, interest compounding and the difference between uh, nominal and real interest rates and what that could mean for people. Financial regulation is uh, extremely important for uh, households because they are confronted with important decisions, financial decisions. They have very complicated problems to solve. They themselves have limited abilities and knowledge of these financial issues and there is enormous room uh, for uh, misallocation of products and mismatches between products and uh, people. Financial regulation can uh, be a contributing factor to the quality of this uh, match, to enable people to manage the risks without being destroyed by the products that they actually acquire. With uh, the demographic transition, uh, um, social security systems can no longer provide enough for people's pensions and uh, they themselves have to save for retirement uh, in order to reduce the risk that they outlive the resources. So, for example, there are annuities uh, that uh, you can uh, buy so that they give you some pension from a certain point on. There are deferred annuities that pay you only if you live beyond a certain age. You know, things get complicated quite quickly. So that's point number one, that everybody has to deal with this. Uh, point number two is that there is a lot of financial innovation, not only in pension products, but, you know, in a whole range of assets. These are complicated and they are getting more complicated and there is recent research which uh, suggests that uh, this product complexity is not an unavoidable uh, attribute of these uh, assets and liabilities but it's a strategic variable of the firms as well. So they try to complicate products in order to take advantage of uh, investors who are not sophisticated enough. So there is uh, a lot of room for useful financial regulation to make sure that um, uninformed investors uh, do not mess up and are not sold the wrong uh, products. Also, on the other side, that uninformed investors or investors who would be uh, less likely to know about the products, the good products, and to invest in them or to borrow using them, uh, to actually be matched with these products. The CPR established a few months ago a um, new network, research network on household finance. One of the findings is, for example, that there is widespread financial illiteracy. And I'm not talking about, uh, you know, very advanced formulas in finance, but even simple issues like interest compounding and the difference between uh, nominal and real interest rates and what that could mean for people. This financial illiteracy is uh, unevenly distributed. It is concentrated among the poorer segments and less educated segments of the population. People who have financial advisors are the richer, the, the wealthier, the more educated, the more experienced, and the people who could benefit from financial advice are not matched with financial advisors. Sometimes financial regulation focuses on the wrong people. So, for example, there is a lot of uh, emphasis of financial regulation on uh, restricting people who are not familiar with financial products uh, from uh, investing uh, in them. But if you think about uh, the equivalent in everyday life, suppose uh, we were to restrict people who don't know how to drive and prevent them from ever driving. That would be very bad. Uh, that would be a very suboptimal outcome. So when there is uh, learning and when there is the potential for a good, well-incentivized, familiar financial sector uh, to help, we should be thinking about how uh, to make that possible as opposed to uh, keeping people out of uh, those markets. <music>